Wow, I'm amazed I actually got that done. And I think that was actually a central hit too. That was really quite good. Whee! Hey guys, welcome back to the range. I wanted to do a quick video and I made a, ironically, I made a long note for a quick video. Things that are easy to forget about your setup. Almost dropping my pocket knife when I reach for a magazine in haste. Forgetting about the pain that is caused to my body when I have things where I want them, where I want them to be, versus where they need to be. All right, let's mark that one off. Okay, what that is referring to is, I was out here not too long ago. Um, I'm teaching a class here very soon on PDW. And um, I was running a drill, and you guys who have been, who've been on this channel long enough over the last several months have noticed that I've been wearing a different pair of pants. And they're Wranglers, they're the, the hiking, the all-terrain pants that they, that they make. They're like 26 bucks. Um, and these are a $20 pair of jeans from Walmart. Well, what I found was um, I had the, the Magpul GL, GL9s that I use, and they were in the pocket of the other pants. And um, originally, they were in the coin pocket, which it... Actually, I'm sorry, they were, they were in the tech pocket, which is in the slot where the coin pocket is on jeans. But the tech pocket on those pants goes all the way down and it is the size of a phone and what I have found is that I could have Magpul GL9 and my Inforce TFX Lite side by side down in the pocket and they perfectly would fit well what I found the hard way was this angle right here started digging in to this muscle group right here which I'm gonna have to find the name because I can't remember and it was causing so much pain that at night when I'd be laying on my right side, I kept waking up with hip pain. And I'd be like, oh, great. So I'd have to turn over on my left. And, um, and I finally came to the realization that it was this combination down here. And, um, uh, and also that the, the belt that I was wearing was cutting in. Because now that I've shed enough weight and kept it off, I now wear my belt where my waist is versus over the lower portion of my pudge <laughs> to, uh, to keep my pants up. And right now it's kind of saggy because this belt is not really set for these pants, which I need to, I need to fix that, which I'm not going to do right now. But anyways, um, so what I found was that uh, I had to start changing where I was carrying my magazine. So I ended up putting it into the, pan the right pocket of those other pants I was telling you about. And one day, I was out here running a drill. I don't know if it's even going to do it. But I was shooting, and the block went empty. And I reached in to grab the mag, and I did... You know, it's not going to do it. I did this. Those, it's not going to do it because these pants are not as tight as the other ones. And this portion of my hand caught my knife, and my knife went... And I felt it, and I heard it, because these earphones can pick up things very quickly. Um, these, these earphones can actually um, process gunfire fast enough for you to actually hear your round hitting the steel. It's that fast, how quickly they, they process and decay the sound of gunfire, or compress it. And I heard the knife hit the floor, and I went... <sighs> and here, here is... Someone's going to say, well, yeah, well, you're in a fight, you're not even going to know that. I got news for you. You probably will. Some of the stuff I've been involved with, some of the stuff I've been involved in as a cop, how can I put this? I was in a gunfight one time. Now, I want to be very clear. I want to be very clear. I'm not, I, I do not want to try to paint a picture of badassery for you guys. It took me years to realize that there actually is a difference between a gunfight and a fire fight. This was a gunfight. And because we went at this guy so hard and so fast and got him under control, it didn't turn into a firefight, but guys, he drew, okay? His hand was on the gun. Um, but I remember in the midst of this gunfight, I was thinking about french fries. Why? Because I was hungry. The weirdest things will pop into your head. I remember thinking to myself, I can feel the individual pieces of gravel under my boots as I was approaching this guy. Once again, you would think that your brain would be dialed in to what's going on at the moment, but in reality, I was thinking about the smell of, of, um, of, a, of a pizzeria down the road that was wafting in the breeze, or the smell of the, uh, 
of the patrol vehicles idling because you could smell that they were hot because of the pursuit. All these things that came to mind in the midst of a gunfight. And so if you think to yourself that you're not going to notice things in a gunfight, you're deluding yourself. Here's where it's going to be a problem. You've just dropped your knife. What makes you think that you might, that you might not accidentally go like this to get it? And now you've lost focus. So why not reduce the chances of stuff coming off of your person in the first place? Which is why this morning I said to myself, I can't ignore that moment. I have to go back to my blue jeans. Um, I have, this is so painful. I have put in an order for some Vertex pants. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, if you've ever shopped for Vertex pants, you know that they're really top quality, but man, they're painfully expensive. But guys, this is the cost of quality. I used to have a really nice pair of Delta stretch pants, but that was like 60 pounds ago. And then I shed the weight and then I was swimming in those pants. So I took them to the Samaritan Center to donate them. And I said to my wife, someone's going to have a good day when they get these pants for three bucks because the person who's, who's valuing them doesn't have a clue what they are. To them, they just look like jeans. Pfft, donated those pants. So anyways, um, what I'm getting at is this. Uh, make sure that the choices that you're making as to where you're putting equipment is a wise choice. Because as you guys have heard me say before, if you take blue jeans, any blue jeans, at, at least for dudes, because girls, I'm sorry, the pockets they give y'all, like, <laughs> really? You might be able to get a lipstick in there or a chapstick. I don't know. Anyways, um, but dudes, uh, your jeans pocket, it's typically about seven inches across the top. So bisect it three and a half. Take a pencil or a fine Sharpie. Scroll a line straight down to the to the bottom. I think it's right there to the central bot to the bottom of the of the of the dart at the bottom of the pocket. Stitch right down the middle. Actually, you want to start from the bottom up. And when you get to the top, about this much, you go to the top and then go back and then go back again because you want this portion to be as strong as you can get it to be. And that's so that when you draw your mag and reinsert your mag during training, that this portion is not going to come loose. And what you have now done is you've now integrated mag carriers on both sides of your pants. And my wallet consists of bicycle inner tube, driver's license, carry permit, debit card, credit card, and it slides right there. And then front pocket is my Enforce TFX cell phone with, uh, with chapstick right there and a lighter in the bottom of this pocket along with my EDC light. Fighting light, EDC light. This is just a little rechargeable dealie from, uh, from Streamlight. This light does not get used, period. It does not get used, except for when I train or should I get into a fight. And it has training batteries. They're dedicated, they say training on them. And when I train for low light, those training batteries are put into this light. And when I, when I finish training, I have a memo on my phone, batteries come out, fighting batteries go in, and light goes back in pocket. But this is the light that I use all the time for everything. It's a rechargeable. Should this thing take a dump, I don't care because my fighting light is always going to be ready to go with all the searing lumens that it has. And technically, my lighter could actually go in my coin pocket and it wouldn't be in the way. Uh, no, I'm not a smoker, but I always have the ability to cut, light, I'm sorry, yeah, cut, light, and ignite on my person at all times. Um, and of course, there's my... Uh, my clinch pick from Shivworks, and then my TDI knife in a Matthews um, knife uh, TDI knife sheath, which is one of the best knife one of the best knife sheaths I've ever seen for the TDI knife. With which, frankly, it may be the best knife sheath because, in my estimation, it is the best I've ever seen. So, um, and all this stuff hides underneath a loose shirt. You guys always see me wearing something untucked. When I go to church, I'm always untucked. When I'm out and about, I'm always untucked. People ask me why I'm always wearing shirts that are untucked, and that's why, because I'm hiding the stuff that I have on me. Obviously, this is not regularly on me. But that's it, guys. Um, making choices that put pieces of equipment on your person where they need to be versus where you want them to be makes sense, but also um, preserves you 
from dropping things and also preserves your body because if you're doing hard training where excuse me where you end up um, where you end up doing things and you have things positioned in incorrect places you can hurt yourself now by the same token I want to make sure you guys understand if you put your mags here left and right make sure that when you are seated in your vehicle that the mags come forward into your pockets because your sciatic nerve runs through here on either side and if you squash that you will be wakened up at night by your sciatic nerve beating you up and stealing your sleep from you. Ask me how I know that. So uh, learn from my mistakes, guys. As always, I wanted to remind everyone, shush. As always, I want to remind everyone that Tier 1 Citizen is 100% viewer supported. So if you guys want to donate to this channel, I thank you. And the funds go to this channel. Um, they don't go to like my pickup truck fund or anything. Um, they go to support this channel with ammo and weapons and support gear and whatnot. Um, I do not want to go down the road of corporate support. That's just a, that's a dead end road. That's what I used to do when I was a magazine writer. And guys, there is no truth in that type of environment. Um, this channel, if I tell you guys that I like something, you can trust that I like it for a reason because I've actually worked with it. Um, as always, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, guess I should probably tell you where you can donate. If you go to tier1citizen.com, click on the shop section. You guys can donate on the uh, on a donation tab that I've set up. And um, you can start them at $10 increments. And frankly, I think I'm going to take away the 50 and the 100. And you guys can always just take the 10 and just run it up where you want it to be. Uh, but guys, I thank you because a great many of you have already donated. And it is humbling. I mean, truly humbling. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My Every time that, that a donation comes through, I say to my wife, there's another donation. She goes, what? N not, not that... It isn't that she doesn't believe in the kindness of humanity. It's that that she's, she's like, honey, all you have to do is ask for help. And people are stepping up. The reason, listen, I, I'll close with this. The reason I started doing this was I was being actively asked by viewers, how can we help support you? Do you have a Patreon page? The reason I don't have a Patreon page is I do not want to be a monkey dancing on a rope. Because when you have a Patreon page, you are creating content, basically backdoor content for your patrons and they get early access content or, or, or private content, like private access content kind of a thing. Guys, I'm dropping a video every three days. Nobody's got to wait for anything. I'm dropping premium content every three days for you guys. As much knowledge as I can... Okay, I was talking to my friend Zeke the other night, and he says, Abner, you have forgotten most. You have forgotten things. How did he put that? You have forgotten more than most people in this industry will ever know. Well, I got news for you. He's absolutely right. And I'm frankly done sitting back and being the quiet professional and waiting for someone to recognize. Yes, he's right. I do. I have been a student so many more times than I've been an instructor. And anyone who's ever been an instructor understands you learn more by being a student than you ever do by going to instructor school. Do you understand the difference? When you go to instructor school, it's crazy expensive and it's three, maybe five days. Boom. But when you go as a student and you're an instructor already and you have to shut your mouth, park your ego, sit at the knee of the instructor and listen and try it their way, it changes how you view everything and it changes how you approach things, which is why I have a student-centric approach to everything that I do. And by the way, this is quite irritating. Recently, I went to a website of someone that I know who offers training who literally stole that line from me and has it right on their website. And I'm like, wow, there is no honor. Okay, moving on. So um, my wife wants me to say the name, but I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. Um, guys, as I've said several months ago, this is the new Abner, and I am pulling punches less and less because my irritation with the thievery and the backstabbing that goes on in the firearms industry and and just generally speaking in politics and the America the American psyche is just changing so dramatically for the worse and it's just it's not good to see anyways I thank you for those of you who've been generous and have donated to this channel to keep this channel moving forward I thank you and as we move into 2022, I've got good things coming for you guys, and you're going to enjoy the content that I'm going to be providing for you. As always, I thank you all for watching. Oh, that's too good. Literally, as I was finishing this video, 
the camera died on me and I don't know if it actually captured the closing so I'm gonna go ahead and close it now. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank those of you who have donated to this channel. I thank you for your generosity because you're keeping Tier 1 Citizen moving forward and here in 2022 you guys are gonna start seeing some really premium content coming your way. As always, I thank you for watching. God bless you all. Please get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.